welcome to the online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning here is professor lakshman mane this is a video session on refrigerants classification and designation in this session you will be able to explain about refrigerant classification of refrigerant designation of refrigerant and antifreeze solutions do you know that from different refrigeration and air conditioning applications for example inside a refrigerant how different products can be cooled from split air conditioner in a room how we find cooled air or from car ac inside a car how do we find cooled air in case of ice plant how it is possible to produce ice so for all these applications here is a common substance which is used in the systems that is what refrigerant so refrigerant is a working substance as a fluid used in refrigeration and air conditioning system which can be heated or cooled refrigerant can be compressed or expanded it can be evaporated or it can be condensed so refrigerant is a working fluid which is used in refrigeration cycle and air conditioning system as a medium of heat transfer when refrigerant flows into evaporator it is mostly saturated liquid with some vapor as refrigerant moves through the evaporator it absorbs heat from the air and vaporizes if the system operates according to design the refrigerant will be 100% vapor as it reaches the exit of the evaporator if before leaving the evaporator the vapor continues absorbing heat it becomes superheated refrigerants are classified into mainly two broad categories primary refrigerants and secondary refrigerants primary refrigerant takes directly part in the refrigeration system for example in the refrigerator food kept inside the refrigerator is get cooled by the air inside the fridge so air is in a contact of freezer so refrigerant in the cooling coil of freezer is a taking part in absorption of heat from the air secondary refrigerant is first cooled by primary refrigerant and then it is used for cooling purpose for example in case of ice plant here ice to be produced that is kept as a water in ice can and these ice cans are dipped in a brine solution which is secondary refrigerant so this brine is a secondary refrigerant is first cooled by the ammonia refrigerant in vapor compression refrigeration system and then this brine solution cool the water and convert that into ice primary refrigerants are classified as halocarbons azeotropes hydrocarbons inorganic compounds and unsaturated organic compounds halocarbons are mostly man made chemicals used in a range of applications these are alkane derivatives for example methane ethane propane etc halocarbon contain one or more number of atoms of chlorine bromine and fluorine halocarbons are sold in market by the name freons so freon is a registered trademark of the humorous company which uses it for a number of halocarbon products halocarbon refrigerants have wide range of boiling point at atmospheric pressure they have three groups cfc is chlorofluorocarbon they contain chlorine and fluorine hcfc means hydrochlorofluorocarbon they contain hydrogen chlorine and fluorine and hfc means hydrofluorocarbon it contain fluorine 
Refrigerants are written with some number and this number is given by ASHRAE designation. So in this R is followed by a number. For methane based refrigerant the number is two digit and for ethane based refrigerant it is a three digit number. General chemical formula is given as a CAHBFCCLD where ABCD suffixes are the number of atoms A number of carbon B number of hydrogen C number of fluorine and D number of chlorine atom relation between these numbers is here given as a B plus C plus D is equal to twice A plus 2 designation number of refrigerant is given by ASHRAE so refrigerant number is given or written as R letter then first bracket A minus 1 second bracket B plus 1 and C for the understanding let us take example of trichloromonofluoromethane molecular formula it is written like CCL3F or CFCL3 writing the number of carbon hydrogen fluorine and chlorine atoms so carbon atom is 1 here hydrogen atom is 0 fluorine atom is 1 and chlorine atoms are 3 so putting in the acid designation and uh, solving mathematically finally we find acid designation for trichloro monofluoromethane as a R11 similarly we can follow the process for some another refrigerant dichloro difluoromethane molecular formula is CCL2F2 so following the same procedure we find acid designation as R12 for monochloro difluoromethane chemical formula CHClF2 following the procedure given by ASHRAE designation we find acid designation R22 now this refrigerant is used in domestic air conditioner for tetrafluoroethane refrigerant chemical formula is C2H2F4 so here are carbon atoms 2, hydrogen atoms 2 and fluorine atoms 4 so following the procedure we find acid designation for it as R134 which is used in domestic refrigerator next type of primary refrigerant halocarbon is uh, azeotropes it refers to a stable mixture of refrigerants whose vapor and liquid phases retain identical compositions over a wide range of temperatures these are assigned an identifying number in 500 series for example R500 which is a mixture of two refrigerants R12 and R152 similarly here are some refrigerant with 500 series zeotropes are assigned a number in the 400 series to differentiate among zeotropes having the same components with different amounts and uppercase letter are added as a suffix for example here R407 A is a uppercase letter used as a suffix so it is a mixture of these three refrigerant and this is a what combination concentration in a percentage similarly for one more kind of refrigerant zeotrope next hello hydrocarbons it is an organic chemical compound composed exclusively of hydrogen and carbon atoms these have desired thermodynamic properties these are highly inflammable they are written with this number R50, R170, R290 and R600 methane, ethane, propane and butane in organic compounds where two or more chemical elements usually other than carbon atoms are combined nearly always in definite proportion these are assigned a number in the series of 700 so identification numbers are formed by adding the relative molecular mass 
to 700 for example for ammonia molecular weight of ammonia can be added to 700 so atomic weight for nitrogen is 14 and for 3 hydrogen it is 3 into 1 so total is 717 so R717 similarly for water R718 for air as a molecular weight of air is taken as 29 so it is taken directly as a R729 for carbon dioxide and for sulfur dioxide these are the numbers given unsaturated organic compounds in that unsaturated hydrocarbons are hydrocarbons that have double or triple covalent bonds between adjacent carbon atoms the term unsaturated means more hydrogen atoms may be added to the hydrocarbon to make it saturated they possess satisfactory thermodynamic properties but these are highly inflammable and explosive general chemical formula for it is given as like earlier but here the equation is given B plus C plus D is equal to 2A designation number of refrigerant for this category is given by Ashray is R1 A minus 1 B plus 1 C for example for ethylene chemical formula is C2H4 so following the procedure means writing the number of atoms in the SRA designation and simplifying we find R1150 as a refrigerant number for propylene molecular formula C3S6 by following the procedure we find SRA designation as R1270 now secondary refrigerants these are usually liquids and are used to transfer heat from the substance being cooled to a heat exchanger where the heat is absorbed by a primary refrigerant. These are first cooled by primary refrigerant and then used to cool the source. High temperature applications such as central air conditioning system use chilled water as a secondary refrigerant while low temperature applications such as ice plants use brines glycols and oils as a secondary refrigerant use of secondary refrigerant is advisable in order to keep primary refrigerant toxic in nature away from the cooling products here brines are used as a secondary refrigerant so brine solutions are used when required temperature is less than freezing point of water so brines with a glycol base commonly water solutions of ethylene or propylene glycol used brine is a solution containing a salt dissolved in water freezing point of brine solution depends on concentration of salt in water for example for brine of sodium chloride here for 23 percent concentration by weight it gives temperature minus 21 degrees celsius and uh, calcium chloride brine for 30% concentration by weight it gives minus 55 degrees Celsius temperature. Antifreeze solutions Certain water soluble compounds when added in water the freezing point of water decreases. Such compounds are known as antifreeze. These are more widely known antifreeze agents which are given here ethylene glycol, propylene glycol and methanol. Use of glycol having advantages over brines. They are non-corrosive even in presence of water. They do not evaporate during operation. Propylene glycol works also as a lubricant for compressor. Propylene glycol does not increase the density of water solutions. That's why glycol is nowadays used. So at the end of this session, you can explain about refrigerant, classification of refrigerant, designation of refrigerant and antifreeze solutions. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. Thank you.